Good morning, children. Our topic for Math 4 is all about division of whole numbers. Okay, again, division of whole numbers. With a learning target, divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers without and with remainder. Are you ready? Let's start! Before anything else, let's have first our review. Find the product of the following numbers. 143 times 50 equals... Very good! It's 7,150. 543 times 89 equals... Absolutely! It's 48,327. 1,701 times 25 equals... Very good! It's 42,525. Before we will start, let's have first this following questions. Do you help your parents at home? In what ways do you help them? When you see your parents' faces glow, when you help them, what did you feel? Those are the questions which are related to our problem. Joseph helped his mother repack 250 canned goods to be given to 25 families who were affected by the pandemic in their barangay. How many canned goods will each family receive? What kind of a child is Joseph? Do you think his mother will be happy to see Joseph helping her? If you were Joseph, will you also help your mother, friends, and teachers? Then why? To answer the problem, let's have the following guide questions. First, what are the given facts? Next, what is asked in the problem? Third, what is the operation to be used? Fourth, what is the number sentence? Fifth, what is the answer to the problem? Let's answer the first guide question. What are the given facts? The answer is, Joseph with his mother repacked 250 canned goods for 25 families. The second guide question, what is asked in the problem? The answer is, how many canned goods will each family receive? Third guide question, what is the operation to be used? In order to solve and get the exact answer, we need to use the operation called division. Fourth, what is the number sentence? In order to get the exact answer, we need to divide 250 divided by 25. Finally, what is the answer to the problem? Let's divide 250 divided by 25. Step 1, let's divide 25 by 25 equals 1. Step 2, multiply 1 times 25 equals 25. Step 3, subtract 25 minus 25 equals Zero. Step 4. Bring down the remaining digit which is 0. Step 5. Repeat steps 1 to 4 until there is no more digit to bring down. So, the last digit is 0. So, we will go back to step 1. 0 divided by 25 equals 0. 
0 times 25 equals 0. Then we will subtract. The answer is 0. Since there is no more digit to bring down, so the final answer is 10 canned goods each family receives. Let's have another example. Cardo picked 256 mangoes in his farm. He put them equally in 12 large baskets and gave the rest to his younger brother, Onyo. How many mangoes were given to Onyo? These are the guide questions. Let's answer the first guide question. What are the given facts? Cardo picked 256 mangoes, put equally in 12 baskets, and gave the rest to Onyo. Second guide question, what is asked in the problem? How many mangoes in each basket? How many mangoes were given to Onyo? Third guide question, what is the operation to be used? In order to get the exact answer, we need to use the operation called division. What is the number sentence? 256 divided by 12. What is the answer to the problem? 256 divided by 12. Okay, so let's divide 256 divided by 12. Step 1, divide 25 by 12. The answer is 2. Step 2, multiply 2 by 12. The answer is 24. Step 3, subtract 25 minus 24. The answer is 1. Step 4, bring down 6. So we have now 16. Step 5, repeat steps 1 to 4 until there is no more digit to bring down. Let's go back to step 1. Let's divide 16 divided by 12 equals 1. Let's multiply again. 1 times 12 equals 12. Then let's subtract 16 minus 12 equals... Very good, it's 4. Since there is no more digit to bring down, so 4 becomes our remainder. So the final answer is 21 mangoes per basket and 4 remaining mangoes to onyo. Let's remember the mathematical ideas. To divide a number by another number, follow the steps. First, divide. Divide starting from the leftmost digit of the dividend. If the leftmost digit of the dividend is less than, the divisor include the next digit of the dividend. Second, multiply. Multiply the partial quotient by the divisor. Third, subtract the product from the digit or digits of the dividend. Fourth, bring down. Bring down the next digit of the dividend. Fifth, repeat. Repeat the steps until there is no more digit to bring down. Sixth, remainder. Remainder is an excess from a number when divided by another number. Are you ready? Let's solve! For your activity, get one whole sheet of paper. Answer this. This coming Wednesday afternoon after our online and review discussion. Write, solve, and show your solutions with the following Equations 
I know you can do it! Let's solve! Thank you for listening! Goodbye!